slightly startling fact here that um, by 2030, um, 800 million jobs globally are going to be displaced by the sort of, sort of technology that we're talking about today. Um, it's such a concern that even the boss of Google has raised uh, his eyebrows and expressed just the idea that we all need to be a little bit concerned about the development and the application of AI. So just as it was 25 years ago, the benefits of technology are immense and clear. But we need to overcome some challenges. We have to work harder at changing the perception that technology is out to get us, to replace us. So six things to think about. First thing, don't panic. Because although McKinsey claimed that 800 million jobs are going to be displaced by 2030, they go on to say that I think it's about 890 million jobs are going to be created, new roles. So it means that creative teams, like everybody else in this room, are going to have to continually evolve and continually adapt their skill sets to meet requirements. Also, it's okay to be confused. Although everybody insists on absolute comprehension all the time, when we're managing this technology and the transition we're going to have to make, it's okay to be confused. There's a guy called Tom Goodman, he's authored an amazing book called Digital Darwinism. And he talks about the period we're in now as the period of peak complexity. It's okay to be confused, it's okay to deal with the old and the new and try to come to terms with it. Next thing, embrace and be cynical. One of my heroes is Don Draper. And he says, technology is a glittering lure and that the most important thing in advertising is new. So yes, we should always be open to new ideas, to new technologies, to new techniques. But we should also question if that technology is right. Will it work for a specific challenge? Could it be done another way? The way we find that out is through test, learn, and repeat. This is the mantra of the direct marketer. It was 25 years ago, it's true today. Understand where technology is best utilised. If you exceed customer expectations, delighting and surprising, your impact on customer loyalty is very minimal. Maybe the best place to invest in the marketing technology budget is in making it easier for the customer. So maybe your technology budget is invested in customer services rather than in marketing efforts. Understand where best to invest the money and you'll see the greatest impact. As an ex-creative, this is something I always believe. Disrupt, not everything needs to be single. Constantly talking about best practice, about new ways, about the way you should do things. Sometimes disruption is good. Because data is essential. Without the right interpretation of that data, it just gives us information. Got too much information, we don't think creatively, we think like shit. So try making a leap without data or evidence. Go with your humanity, trust your instincts. And last but not least, trust in human intelligence. I think the difference between HI and AI is that human intelligence is broad, general, social, but also inherently creative. This means we're better equipped to solve the challenges.